So I'm Sarah Robinson. I'm a graduate student at the University of California, San Francisco, studying neuroscience in Vikas Sohal's lab. Um, we are in a neuroscience laboratory at UCSF, um, and we're going to go into our rig room. Well, really, this, we're trying to understand how the brain works and how it changes in different circumstances, so how it could be different um, in schizophrenia or how it's different, how different cells differ from each other. Um, we're trying to understand how it works. Once you're, you have to understand how something works before you can help or change anything. Both of my parents are scientists. They're both geologists. And so I grew up kind of with science around me. They didn't manage to instill a love of geology, but I grew up kind of on lots of hikes and being around nature um, and wanted to understand how things worked. And so I kind of got involved in like both chemistry and biology, kind of just trying to understand how things worked from a very young age. I um, look at brain cells, so I actually record from neurons that are still alive, um, and they give off electrical signals, so I have um, a microscope and uh, a bunch of electrical equipment that I can record from the cells. Um, I also have a vibratome, which is what uh, I think you filled me using earlier, which um, allows me to uh, make really thin slices of brain tissue um, so that I can look at the cells and record from them and see what's going on. Specifically, I'm looking at dopamine, which is a neurotransmitter in the brain. So our cells, our neurons release certain uh, molecules, and it's one of these molecules. And so I'm looking at um, the signaling of this dopamine and how it changes um, in the presence of certain drugs or in different types of cells. So um, we have brain tissue models that um, have genetic disorders which mimic uh, human psychiatric disorders like schizophrenia or autism. Yeah. So right now I'm giving, um, it's in artificial cerebral spinal fluid, and so I'm bubbling oxygen into the artificial cerebral spinal fluid to keep everything alive. I volunteer at the Exploratorium in San Francisco, so I um, get to see the other side of science, which is more teaching and hands-on instruction for kids. I really enjoy both sides of science, the teaching and the research. Um, and so it helps me while I'm in graduate school in my life, my professional life is focused on the research. It's a way for me to still stay involved in education. Keep me grounded, have a little bit of fun. <laughs> Remember that science is fun, because um, it is fun. It's just not every day of it, that's life.